Sounds like he's doing it quickly too. Previously. Rogue looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh yep, 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 here we go. What's he doing? This guy. Alright, we need to go. Holy f**k, this guy's tanky. Can I get out of here? Holy crap, we barely survived. to go i need to go yo boys it is episode two we're just gonna carry on with the kit that we got from last night and real quick i've been leveling up another fighter just off stream this is like my you know what i mean my my fighter that i'll use for trios but it's so easy to get loot like even with a kit just like this like you can kill goblins so easy and just make so much money this i made this money in like three raids but we are back episode two we are literally trying to get this right now 3k gold so we can start moving over these questable items and actually have some space we tried to get rid of this magic staff let's see if we can sell it now that there's a little bit more people in let's try 150 Whoa, those for a hundred, bro? The fact that you can get things like that for a hundred gold, kind of nuts to me. Okay, whatever. We'll probably end up just selling that, to be honest. But yeah, boys, plan is to do the same as last episode, is go into Goblin Caves for a bit, farm some money up, and then for the other half of the episode, do some crypts. I feel like that works pretty well. But yeah, man, crypts is already getting pretty hard. Like, the amount of gear and, like, insane gear. Like, people are so juiced right now. It gets to a point quite quickly where you just you're getting out geared pretty easily but that's what i like about the static portals and whatnot like you don't have to fight every single team anymore and one thing i didn't know right boys so you know the skills that you get in um in hr like, i'm apprentice right now and it goes all the way up to demigod what i didn't know is whatever rank you are you're placed in the same matchmaking pool and like you are match made with other people that are the same rank as you so like i was watching repose last night and him and his team were blue rank and weren't finding anybody. I'm helping him with the skelly now. Oh well. Like he was blue rank and they just weren't finding anybody. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the lobbies are like the higher we climb. I don't know if it will be just like, I can imagine it just being like kind of weird at the higher ranks. Like cheaters that are carrying or like Chinese loot farmers that are like paying for boosts and whatnot. I don't know, man. We'll just have to see. All I know is that the higher we climb, the sweatier the people are going to get and the, like, the crazier the gear people will have. But yeah, in general, boys, I feel like this patch is is really good for the game. I, I don't like the skill-based matchmaking thing. That's the only thing I don't like. I feel like the player count is, is too low for something like that. <clears throat> like, if you are someone like Repose who plays like, quite a lot and you're ranking up a lot. Like, if you are someone that plays this game a lot with your friends and you guys are storming through HR lobbies and you're ranking up quite quickly. And they were waiting the full timer as well and they were just weren't finding anybody. And the thing is, the higher you climb in rank, you start losing points when you don't bring out enough loot or you don't, you know what I mean, kill enough people. Because 
that's where AP points come comes from. It's from looting and taking sellables out of the raid. So say I'm the blue rank. I am not exactly, I can't remember what it's called, but say I'm the blue rank and I don't get enough lootables out because one of my teammates died and I need to bring out his loot, right? Say I'm playing with a three. Then I'm I'm gonna suffer because I'm I'm gonna lose some points. Like and it's in the hundreds too. Like the more you climb, the more points you're gonna lose, essentially. I just don't know how I feel about that. But at the end of the day, this is our solo series, so I don't know how it's gonna affect us in the long run. Only time will tell. Someone is in the main room right now. That's a barbarian, dude. Pretty kid looking one too. Sounds like he has smash. Why is he not just breaking the doors down? Where is he if that zombie's there? Come on, make up your fucking mind, zombie. <clears throat> Why is he shooting me? Oh, see, there's a bloody juice barbarian right here. It's gonna be a team effort kill. Alright, this zombie needs to die. Yeah, what now, bitch? Oh shit, I'm dead. I wasn't even paying attention. Who's above me right now? Holy crap, how did I get out? This guy was just waiting the whole time and look what happened to him. He was actually waiting in the shadows that whole time. What did we even get from that? I just had to grab. Eh.
kind of don't have the space for this now, though. Uh, this is a problem. I'm going to be struggling for a hot minute, I think. Already got a pickaxe. I need to sell a couple things. I might just have to get rid of the magic stuff. Do magical healing. Okay, let's try and actually just sell a couple bits. I'll be right back. Yeah, they're just... Okay, never mind. They're just actually not selling, so whatever. It's like, what do I do first? Do I do the 15 leather caps or the 15 campfires first? Because doing them both at the same time is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. This is the spawn. This is the spawn you want. Right, so... First things first. If you can get these pots before all three spawn, you're a legend. Boom, I'm a legend. Next on the list, kill these spiders, and then we get the other pot. Other pot is over there. Start shooting it near. You want to get them before the spiders like run around on the other pressure plates and whatnot. I'm going to try and get the death beetles. Anything that flies, try and get rid of them early. I am sadly just out of spawn, so I'm going to loot this way first, I think. Nothing. We need to be quick, too. Because this, this room is insane for loot. Like, what the hell are they? I'll have a better look at them in a minute. I'm going to make sure you're getting all the ones on the floor, too. Oh my god, look at that. That's a good secondary weapon to be holding. Storm moving in now. This is unfortunate because this room is so good. Oh god, another campfire. Here we go. I'm gonna get all these lootables here. I already have no space. Jesus. I've been in here for like two minutes and my inventory is already full. I need AP, man. Where is that? Get him while he's not got songs. What the? Again, he's got to be low now. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. I want this bard dead, too. All this is cleared, luckily, for him. Know where you are, boy. Ooh. All right. This is whatever. That thing, bro. Yeah, you do not want to get hit by that. I'm surprised that bard was clearing down here, to be honest. It is so dangerous down here. I'm just doing it no problem, though. Oh, that's such a better cape. Three fizz power. Dude, the loot. Let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> okay, now what the hell do I do? I need more gold bags. And then I should be fine. 
I think we're doing it, boys. That was a big... That was a... Like, look at these gloves. I wonder if these can sell for anything. Damn, look at that crossy. 500. Ooh. I'm tempted. Gear just doesn't sell anymore. Just because how much, like, you can just get yourself. Look at this, too. Oh, yes. I think we just go again. I need more sellables this time. Just sellables, okay, dog? Just sellables. I'm hearing a lot of good um, feedback from people of, of what they think about the, the wipes so far. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I also hope you guys are just going to enjoy the uh, the videos as well. Now, I would spend my time like going down there and farming like a bunch of ore, but I have literally no stash space to store it anywhere. So, it's like, what can you do? And someone said to me that you had to unlock... Wait. Damn. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's a really good chess piece there for a cleric. So, I... Do I snag that? Like, will that sell is the thing. Like, will that even sell? No. No, get me out of here. Holy, that could have been bad. Guys, I know I just said what I said, right? Like, I know I... Oh my god. Like, I know I just said what I said about not taking gear. But how can I... How can I not take any of that? I need to get out. I need to sell this rogue kit somewhere. What was that guy doing, bro? Rule number one, never just run through rooms like that. It's so silly. Especially in goblin caves, bro. Like, the mob density is so much worse on this map. Like, you cannot be doing that. I kind of just really need to get out now. Are these better? Move speed 6, 12. Bigger max health or bigger agility move speed max. Probably these then, I guess, right? Pretty heavy. That's a rogue. Seeing a cleric over there, too. Died? Oh no. Oh, a candy cane. Oh. Was farming right now. Um, let them do that because I am too busy right now. Fill in my pockets. Wow, that does damage. I don't know if he headshot me. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna avoid that guy. You can keep your ruby silver, homie. Now we have a major problem. Five dollars cash app? See, the thing is, this is, I'd love to keep all this, but I can't. I need to get rid of it. Boys, I can't sell any of this. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh my, yes. Alright, this for 200. I'll actually take that any day. Ranger gold for this? Not bad. 
Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay. Goodbye, adventurer tunic. That is, that is such a good tunic. Look at that. God damn. Boys, I'm so close. Look at that. 2.7. 2 yes. Okay, rapiers go in. 200. Boom. Oh my god, we're so close. You know what? I'm just going to turn some silver into gold. Boom. Bang. Finally. Just take all my gold. Take it. Oh, finally some space. I can play the game again. Yes. Okay, boys. We made it. We made it. And now we have zero gold. But that's fine because we're about to make some more money. Finally put the pickaxe away. I was holding that just because I didn't have space. Don't need the campfire. There we go, boys. All right. Finally. Let's get into a game. Okay. I'm an hour into this recording. And it is kind of like fair to say I was only playing for like two hours in my first video. So I think it's fair to say we have gotten the second stash in about three hours of gameplay. And that is not too bad. I kill those in three hours now, huh? I don't know about you boys, but I am really enjoying the free high rollers. Like, a lot. And the way the gear works, even though it's a little bit placebo, right? Because they did tweak all the players' um, like base stats. So by reducing everyone's main stats like down a bit and making gear just more common and, and have things on it that look good, it's a placebo effect of there's there's insane loot, but there actually isn't because it balances itself out in terms of, you know what I mean? You, you're starting off lower and there's just more and more gear to, to find that has good looking stats on it. And it just makes the game just feel so much more enjoyable. Because I felt like last wipe, they made it so the insane gear was insane. And it just made you really, really, really powerful. And then they toned it way down. And it just felt like gear wasn't as rewarding anymore. Oh, we need to go. I wasn't paying attention. There's going to be a time where I'm going to need that cloth and, um, yeah, I kind of can't be arse farming it right now. I got kind of an unlucky spawn and circle. I'm just going to be pushing through the whole time, so I kind of just need to push in. Lose my kid trying to chase a naked rogue that ran into storm. I will, however, fight this. Oh, you lucky. I see him through there, maybe. I've seen someone through there. That thing really hit me, huh? I want to just now. I want to know how that just now was even possible. How did that crossbow guy even shoot through that? I think the rogue was still there, just sat somewhere in this.
Oh my god. A spear, bro. Alright, boys, I think one more goblin caves and we can probably start uh, de gearing and then uh, hitting up the crypts. Can you believe I've only found one candy cane the whole time I've been playing? Like, what? what is that about? Oh, yes. Remember what we said at the start of the video, boys? Oh, hang on. Stay with me. Oh, yes. We got a circle on our side, too. That's beautiful. All right. Those pots are dealt with. Spiders are already releasing more, though. Someone is through that room. But as long as he stays in that room, hey, I'm fine. I'm fine with them just looting up in there. While I loot in here, baby. He's making me feel good about games, dude. Like, Iron Mace are just... Like, I know they've been working on just balance patches for a long time but dude like the, this gets me just hella excited for what's to come content wise because other games just be slacking right now like we actually got dream moaning to miners before we got gta 6 trailers like that to me is nuts what's this guy doing in here dodging arrows Stay in my cozy spider room. I need to be careful of that guy. Long swords in this game are, are no joke. Especially, especially if he's got like the combo attack build with it. Alright, I was hearing someone in this room at the start. I guess we can go through here. Yep. Like, longsword's good, but... Yeah. If you know how to counter it, it's kind of just GG. It's kind of just GG at that point. Bow slingers, like, right up against the door as if someone's ran through that way. Another campfire, eh? I mean, I'll take it. Why not? Oh, he ate that too. Yep. What's happening with my weapons right now? Just take the portal, bruh. Kind of glad he did. Okay, 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 okay. I think it is time to de-gear a little bit. Let me clean my inventory, actually. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so boys, this is what we're dealing with real quick. I'll do a quick loot check, just for anybody that might be bothered. I'll just skim through them. 
But yeah, as I was saying, like loot is just is, is coming through right now. Like loot is is, and as I said before, like all base stats are reduced, but because you know what I mean, you have things on these that you might want and might look good, like vigor, fizz power, or whatnot. Like it just makes the game feel that much more fun. But yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Already back up to 500 gold. So let's quickly degear and yeah, I'll see you in the cribs. All right, boys, well, I took this set out. You know what I mean? It ain't, ain't nothing crazy. And we might as well get a crossy to keep some of these rushes at bay. Because people, when they play trios, oh my God, they just, they just don't care. They'll just rush you down. The good thing about crypts is I don't need to be doing a high roller to be completing quests and whatnot. I could go normals and, and have a much easier time. And then probably even go down into hell and like do all that. I don't know. Depending on how these high roller games go, like depends. If I'm getting rushed down by bards and rogues and I can't do anything about it, can't get away, then yeah, we'll think about going into normals. Uh oh. Ah, this is a amazing room for loot. I love this room, bro. Let's just loot it quick before someone knows we're in here. I don't know why sometimes they're one tap and sometimes they're not. Must be not hitting them in the sweet spot or something. Yeah, I'll take it for now. Take a spare pickaxe. Mining season will come around eventually. They're good. They're good too. Always jump on this crate and then jump over the spikes. Works way easier. Yes, it's open too. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm having crazy luck with this recently. Oh, say that and then it's just poo poo, but grateful that it was open we're already getting the storm moving in i'd love to kill the skelly champ but i don't think i can this time around nine candy cane that's like 10x what we've had in the whole of the goblin caves Could be a solo rogue, but risky to find out. I've been through here, but all the mobs are like still here for some reason. Someone's evidently made a runner through here. There's a stack out over there. Oh shit, I'm hearing someone. Solo, right? Mm. Yeah, that damage is not fun. Was that a rogue I was chasing? Oh, he also had nine candy cane. That's some good loot, dude. Alright, next one. Go straight to pyramid.
Whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Any pick lock? Nah. Unfortunate. Um, that's what copper looks like. Interesting. Wow, so you can get a potential of five in one node. More? Ah, um, I only want five though. Unless I can stack more? Probably can't though, right? I don't think they would have upped it. Yeah, not enough space. Hello? Stairs? Can you stairs, please? Thank you. I think I heard a portal open in here. Yeah. Let's go. Nothing in terms of PvP, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. PvP be happening elsewhere. Just a prank and not a prank. Damn, he's tanking a barbarian like that. These guys are juice too, by the way, boys. But. Some good rings. Damn, that's damn. Oh, Skelly's gonna block the door. Ah, he's dead. There's no way. My God! Oh, he's panicking. He's panicking. I can feel it. Oh, he missed so much. <laughs> he missed so much. Wait, that portal's not open. I think he still gets out, right? <laughs> okay. One sixty-nine. Hey, we got we got our first taste of um. Of some copper at least. Alright boys, I think that is going to conclude it. It's been another two hours. My OBS has been going for one hour and 57 minutes. And I think we've made pretty good progress today. If you enjoyed the video today boys, just smack that like button. And if you want to, maybe subscribe. That would be awesome too. Catch you in episode three boys. Peace.